had done to try and identify if indeed he was writing a book, if indeed he had been contacted by BBC and by newspapers. I ask you in, order to draw, in order to draw everything out from him, I had to go along with some of the things that he had been uh, talking about. During the last two years, the gambling laws in Britain have undergone a major review. As a result, betting on horse racing and the activity of bookmakers will soon be subject to much tighter controls. Under present government plans, however, the regulation of horse racing will remain as it is, firmly in the hands of the 250-year-old jockey club. Is anyone at the Jockey Club going to reconsider their position about all of this? Well, that will be for the stewards of the Jockey Club to decide. I, I mean, I, I, I don't think on any evidence that you've produced to me today uh, there's, there's, there's anything that uh, uh, anyone need feel guilty about. As I've said, we, we act uh, when there is evidence. I don't recall a situation. I've been here a long time. I don't recall any situation where evidence was available to us and we didn't take action. Have you considered your resignation? No. Do you think you should? No. For the romantics of the turf, there has always been a mercurial edge to this sport. But it would be wrong to dismiss 15 years of systematic corruption as merely part of racing's roguish allure. This is a major industry far too exposed to corruption and in need of firm regulation. The Jockey Club, it seems, have tried for years to keep the sins of racing hidden from the public, like their club, a private affair. Had it not been for one man, a most unlikely whistleblower, they may well have succeeded. The irony is not lost on me. I feel... Um, sad in many ways that uh, over the last few years um, the Jockey Club has been aware of a number of people, a significant number of people, including jockeys and trainers, who have been involved in corruption or corrupt activity. And at the end of the day, the only person they forced to go is the person who was trying to address these issues and these problems on behalf of horse racing, and that is me. If you'd like to comment on this programme, you can email us or join us on our website for an online discussion tomorrow at 3pm. Next week, another major panorama investigation, the secrets of Siroxat, how one of Britain's most popular antidepressants can get you hooked and cause self-harm and even suicide.